Hey, WWE fans, WWE fan, Alex Cardinelli here. And today, I'm going to recap the biggest party of the summer. I am going to recap the 2024 WWE SummerSlam Premium Live Event. First, let me begin by saying WWE SummerSlam was frigging awesome. I really enjoyed WWE SummerSlam. It was great from start to finish. I really don't have any complaints about this year's WWE SummerSlam. And I think a lot of WWE fans probably feel the same way. I think this year's SummerSlam was a banger. Triple H is doing a great job with not only Monday Night Raw, and Friday Night Smackdown on a weekly basis, but on a monthly basis, he is doing a phenomenal job with the premium live events. This year alone, WrestleMania 40 was freaking awesome, and now this year's SummerSlam was freaking awesome. So I had a blast watching SummerSlam this year. SummerSlam is one of my all-time favorite events, and this year's was one of the best that I've ever seen in recent years. Of course, the 2022 and the 2023 SummerSlams were good, but this year was excellent. I really enjoyed SummerSlam 2024. So today, I'm going to share my honest thoughts and my honest recap of SummerSlam 2024. 24. WWE fans, please feel free to share your thoughts and honest opinions on WWE SummerSlam in the comments down below. So let's go over the SummerSlam 2024 results to get us started. Liv Morgan defeated Rhea Ripley via pinfall to retain the Women's World Championship. Liv Morgan beat Rhea Ripley thanks to interference from Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Dirty Dominic Mysterio did the dirty by betraying Rhea Ripley. Once again, Dominic Mysterio mistakenly put a chair in the ring. Liv Morgan hit her move on... Uh, hit Oblivion on Rhea Ripley on the steel chair to pick up the victory. Then Dirty Dominic Mysterio, that bastard, betrayed Rhea Ripley by aligning himself with Liv Morgan. So Liv Morgan successfully retained her title against Rhea Ripley. And Dominic Mysterio was the first member to leave the Judgment Day and betray the Judgment Day. Braun Breaker defeated Sami Zayn to become the new Intercontinental Champion. So Braun Breaker was the first new champion crowned at SummerSlam. L.A. Knight defeated Logan Paul to become the new undisputed United States champion. So L.A. Knight is now the new United States champion. Nia Jax defeated Bailey to become the new WWE Women's Champion. Drew McIntyre defeated CM Punk by pinfall after CM Punk was distracted by Seth Rollins and CM Punk hit a uh, GTS on Seth Rollins. Gunther defeated Damian Priest by submission, and now Gunther is the new World Heavyweight Champion. Another Judgment Day betrayal, Finn Balor cost Damian Priest the championship. And in the main event, Cody Rhodes defeated Solo Sokoa by pinfall to retain the undisputed WWE Championship. But the big story of SummerSlam 2024 main event, the return of the original Tribal Chief, the return of the real Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns returned and speared Solo Sokoa, allowing Cody Rhodes to hit a crossroads and successfully get the one, two, three to retain his WWE championship. So at SummerSlam, we saw Liv Morgan beat Rhea Ripley to retain her title. Ron Breaker won the Intercontinental Championship by beating Sami Zayn. 
LA Knight beat Logan Paul to win the United States Championship. Nia Jax beat Bailey to win the WWE Women's Championship. Drew McIntyre beat CM Punk. Hunter became the new world champion by beating Damian Priest. And Cody Rhodes successfully defended and retained the WWE Championship. So congratulations to the new champions. Congratulations to Braun Breaker, the new Intercontinental Champion. Congratulations to LA Knight, the new United States Champion. Boo, I can't stand LA Knight. Congratulations to Nia Jax, the new WWE Women's Champion. And congratulations to Gunther, the new World Heavyweight Champion. Some incredible moments at this year's SummerSlam. The betrayal of Dominic Mysterio over Rhea Ripley. Dominic betrayed his mommy at SummerSlam and aligned himself with Liv Morgan. Finn Balor betrayed Damian Priest. So is Damian Priest out of the Judgment Day now? That's going to be an incredible story to watch this coming Monday on Raw. But the biggest story of this year's SummerSlam, the return of the original Tribal Chief. The return of the real tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Four years ago, Roman Reigns returned at SummerSlam 2020 as the greatest villain. Four years later, he returns at SummerSlam 2024 as the greatest hero, the greatest babyface. It's good to have Roman Reigns back as a good guy because I've always liked Roman Reigns as a good guy. So... The longest matches for SummerSlam this year was the main event. Cody Rhodes and Solo Sokoa were given almost a half hour, 29 minutes and 10 seconds. And the second longest match was CM Punk and Drew McIntyre at 17 minutes. I think Drew McIntyre and CM Punk had a great lengthy match, the perfect amount of time because the storyline had been building for about seven months now. And this feud is not over. I've got a funny feeling we're going to see more of Drew McIntyre and CM Punk in the very near future. It is far from over. This is only the victory in a long war for McIntyre. This is his first victory in a long war. I suspect CM Punk will get a couple of victories in this feud as well. So let's talk about my favorite matches from WWE SummerSlam. I really enjoyed Drew McIntyre and CM Punk. A lot of WWE fans are criticizing CM Punk's performance last night at SummerSlam. But you have to remember, this was CM Punk's first singles match in the WWE in almost a decade. Having matches in another promotion is another story. AEW is nothing like WWE. WWE performs on a whole nother level. So CM Punk has to get used to the WWE style again. He hasn't wrestled a singles match in a WWE ring in over 10 years. So I think CM Punk will get better as time goes on. It was a great match story-wise. And as a WWE fan, that's the only thing that matters to me is the story and how they deliver the action. I think McIntyre and Punk did a great job. So there's no criticism for me on this match. I really enjoyed it. I'm not that picky anyway when it comes to wrestling. I enjoy everything that WWE does. But CM Punk and McIntyre, great match. I thought CM Punk would have had the victory, but I'm not happy that, I mean, I'm not upset that Drew McIntyre lost. I think Drew McIntyre deserved the victory. I also really enjoyed the main event. I love the Bloodline Rules match. I love the stipulation they used again because it allowed Tama Tonga and Tama Loa and um, Jacob Fatu to get involved without a disqualification. And it also allowed Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, and the return of Roman Reigns to get involved without a disqualification. And again, I am not surprised at the athleticism of Logan Paul. Logan Paul earns my respect each and every match he does. Great outing for Logan Paul once again. Um, I'm ashamed that he lost the title to LA Knight. I would have preferred that Logan Paul kept the title a bit longer, but I think it was a great match for both men. Logan Paul is a future star, great wrestler. I respect the hell out of that gentleman for being a content creator, a boxer, and now a professional wrestler. So 
Logan Paul is definitely someone that I have a lot of respect for and admiration for. So overall, I would give SummerSlam 2024 10 out of 10 stars. An A+. Plus. It was a great show. I'm looking forward to see what the fallout of SummerSlam will be. Let's take a look at some of the action from SummerSlam before we wrap up this review. Here is Drew McIntyre celebrating a victory over CM Punk. Here is Do Dominic Mysterio gloating with his new girlfriend, Liv Morgan, who is still the women's world champion. Here is Drew McIntyre once again gloating over his victory over CM Punk. And you got the new world champion, Gunther, after defeating Damian Priest, thanks to interference from Finn Balor. You've got the tribal chief, Roman Reigns, who made his epic return last night. Another picture of Dominic Mysterio and Liv Morgan connecting at SummerSlam. Here is Braun Breaker celebrating as the new Intercontinental Champion. Happy for Braun Breaker. I'm glad that he is finally world, uh, he is finally Intercontinental Champion. Here is CM Punk hitting a GTS on the referee Seth Rollins. I have a feeling that we're going to be seeing more of Punk and Rollins in the very near future, possibly at WrestleMania. And here is the biggest moment of the night, the original real tribal chief coming back and spearing Solo Sokoa, proving that Roman Reigns was not a weak tribal chief. Well, SummerSlam 2024, 10 out of 10, a friggin' awesome show. Scratch that, a fucking awesome show. Well, I hope you enjoyed my SummerSlam 2024 review. I will see you for the Bash in Berlin pre-show and the Bash in Berlin post-show, August 31st and September 1st. Thank you for watching, and I greatly appreciate your view. Goodbye, everybody. Come and see how this Oreo cookies and cream cheesecake from Crumble tastes. It will be the very first Crumble cookie review on Saturday Live in 2024. Alex Cardinali will taste and review the cookies and cream cheesecake live Saturday, August 10, 2024, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Get ready for an epically loaded Saturday Live. An all-new episode of Saturday Live with Alex Cardinelli, August 10th, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific on YouTube channel, The Real Alex Cardinelli. Learn about the grizzly bear as our animal of the week. Our pet of the week will be the beautiful Dash Hound. For the first time ever on Saturday Live with Alex Cardinelli, Alex Cardinelli will review the, the new crumble cookies and cream cheesecake and give you a taste test of it. Plus, Alex will have facts on Peacock, Publix, and golf. There will be a Oasis Aquatics featured fish. Aqua Alex will have aquarium facts and learn 30 things about Alex Cardinelli just one week prior to turning 31. All that and more, including Karens of the Week, Assholes of the Week, Yankee Spotlight, and more. Live August 10th, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, YouTube channel, The Real Alex Cardinelli. Be there or be square. Saturday night. Alex Cardinale, your host of today's live stream, will be turning 31 years old very soon. He is inviting you to be part of his 31st birthday celebration. He will be hosting a 31st birthday bash one day after his birthday. It will air live Friday, August 16, 2024, at 10 p.m. Eastern 7 p.m. Pacific. It will be an awesome show and you are all invited. Come one come all. Come and celebrate Alex's birthday. There will be lots of fun. Alex will show any new tropical fish he got. What cool fish will he get this time? 
Alex will also give an update on his current aquarium and also future aquarium plans. Plus, Alex will discuss what his goals are for the next year, play some of his favorite music, he will bake some awesome desserts, and so much more. Viewers are encouraged to tune in and have a good time. There will be a few surprises in store as well. A huge announcement will be made. What should it be? Happy 31st birthday Alex Cardinali. Live Friday, August 16, 2024, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, on YouTube channel The Real Alex Cardinale.